Welcome everyone. Um, I want to show you some uh, really neat uh, uh, bean uh, paintings and sort of share some of the behind the scene footage. So uh, this is Roy Smith at Lone Oak Elementary School. Um, I hope you enjoyed the designs and I hope you enjoy some of the behind the scene footage from uh, my, art, uh, my uh, uh, third grade students from the past. So each year third grade creates uh, three designs um, and uh, and, and the, uh, these designs are usually from um, symbols and, and, and patterns that we see from the Native Americans from the Southwest region. And so here again, some of the bean artwork from the past, but uh, it's also the behind the, the uh, behind the scene footage. So supplies we're gonna need. Uh, I go to the grocery store and buy a wide variety of uh, all the beans I can find. White beans, black beans, red beans, brown beans, pinto beans, speckled colored beans, you know, any, any kind of uh, beans I can uh, I get my hands on. We're using uh, just plain uh, Elmer's uh, glue all uh, uh, for, to glue the beans down. It's the uh, uh, white uh, liquid glue. Uh, in the beginning, we used uh, sort of thick cardboard, um, and then I, you know, I primed that with uh, gesso. Uh, in the later years uh, of doing this, we, we moved on to uh, paneling um, uh, uh, board, uh, wood board uh, panels, because uh, it's just sort of stiffer. The cardboard liked, likes to curl when it gets wet, and when you're priming it, you want to prime the front, and you also want to prime the back. Uh, that helps to keep uh, uh, the curling. Um, uh, the, the, I just use white gesso, the same stuff that we'd use for uh, priming canvas, but I also add a, a, a hint of uh, brown acrylic paint to the gesso just to give a neutral sandy tone for the background. I use uh, black acrylic paint to paint the uh, Native American symbols and designs. Uh, of course, if you're painting, uh, we're gonna, you're gonna need some brushes. Uh, I use a big house brush to apply the gesso, then I use uh, a, a smaller brush, uh, like a, a, an inch uh, brush to um, uh, paint the, uh, the symbols. Uh, I get a, a wide variety uh, of beans, so you're gonna need containers uh, to put all the beans in, so that when students are working on this in a group, uh, they're not all sharing out one container. You have, uh, you know, they have choices of what color they're using, what area they're working on. So uh, definitely some containers to put the beans in. And of course, uh, Native American symbols. So here's how the process works. Uh, uh, this is where we're, we're, we're just using cardboard and I'm applying the gesso with a hint of uh, a little bit of brown acrylic to give it that sandy tone. Um, uh, so uh, uh, I forget, I've, I wrote uh, notes for me. Uh, I, I start the process by measuring, cutting, and priming the, the panel boards. Uh, using my projector, I enlarge the designs to fit the cardboard panels. It's just a lot easier and saves a lot of, uh, a lot of time uh, in making the, the original uh, designs for the boards. And if you look over here on the side, you see a little cup of uh, black tempera paint in my paintbrush. Uh, this, is, uh, this is the year that we actually created. Uh, we used three boards and we put them together to create a eagle from the northwest coast. So this is uh, one of the wings. It's the left wing. This is the center uh, panels, uh, the eagle space. And then we have uh, the right panel, the right wing. And this is what it looks like when you put it all together. Uh, the total length of this, uh, each board is a three by three, so it's three feet tall. Uh, if you put all three boards together, uh, it made a, a, nine, a piece that was uh, three foot by nine foot. It's one of the larger ones that we actually done. So here it is uh, on day one. Uh, on the first day, the students uh, and I discuss the color schemes and the gluing process. It's a lot easier if you um, uh, do small uh, sections, uh, you know, do like a little puddle of glue and then hand lay the beans in. So um, it seems uh, to work best that the students fill in small areas with glue and lay the beans in by hand, uh, just making sure I, I cover my notes. Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, this student here uh, is, is doing a really good job of, of, of filling, and so she might be the gluer, where another student, if they're working in pairs, uh, could be the beaner, um, that they, they just sort of hand set the beans in. If you just throw and sprinkle the beans on uh, half the time, the, uh, the beans on top never co make contact with the glue, so every time you go to move the boards, you, all the beans drop off. So it's a lot easier if they put them in by hand. 
it's a lot neater as well. I see a class of uh, third graders each day. Uh, one class picks up where the other class uh, left off. We continue this process until all the designs are complete. It usually takes about one to two weeks. And you know, it, this is a, a great time once you, uh, the, the students uh, realize the, um, the process, uh, it, it usually goes pretty, pretty smooth. Uh, and and it's, it's a good time for them to uh, socialize, work together as a group. We're listening to Native American music, and we're all working on a, a common theme. And so when you finish, uh, when I finish this piece, we put them together to make uh, one larger design. And, uh, and, and that was the year that uh, we made the, the really large Native American art exhibit. So the, the idea was to take every... If every student between kindergarten and third grade, uh, fifth grade at the time, if every student between kindergarten and fifth grade uh, created a Native American artwork uh, and, and we displayed it all, what if we displayed every student's work? Uh, and so in, in, in each grade level, we focus on a different region. And so what if we could make the hallway going down to our library uh, educational where when you walk through you see uh, artifacts and, and, and artwork um, based on Native American culture from the different regions and so we have the eastern woodlands in the, in the forest you can't see it but we'll show you this in a second there's a rock wall from the Midwest where they make pictographs on the rocks we have uh, sand paintings from the plains from first grade we have kindergarten who uh, designed the little Kachina dolls uh, we have some plate painting from a variety of classes uh, that has some extra time. Fifth grade made totem poles out of clay based on the northwest coast. And um, uh, my fourth graders created pottery bowls. Um, and it's also in the display case, and that came from the southwest. And we also had some parents to, uh, it was really nice, and let us uh, display some Native American artifacts, uh, true artifacts, uh, in the display case. And every now and then you get to see a sand painting uh, from the past. Um, and Greg Chandler was a student teacher of mine uh, back in the day, and uh, he actually sculpted this totem pole for us. And, um, and I made the sign, this is Native American Art Exhibit, based on the Northwest Coast. So as we walk down the hallway, we get to see a little bit more of the uh, rock wall with all the Native American pictographs. We see the Eastern uh, Woodland Forest. Uh, and they're right behind the totem pole on another drop that's in the ceiling. Um, this uh, space is, is fairly similar to this drop, uh, the first drop. But the second drop is where we hung the third grade sand paintings. And even though the sand paintings come from the southwest, we uh, got the idea uh, and design from the northwest coast. And this is the entrance to our library. Um, this, I, uh, this is just some extra uh, uh, photographs I had that shows uh, the board, uh, the first day of the board, uh, you know, just the painted black designs. And then uh, the first day, the students helped me figure out what colors go where. We, you know, it's a good discussion. And then we actually get started. And this is what some of the, the designs look like finished. So before and after. Before and after. Uh, this is an example of uh, how it runs through a week. So this uh, this board in particular only lasted, uh, we got it completed in a week and a half. So this is what the board looked like uh, when we began. This is what it looked like after the students uh, created this on Monday. Now Monday, you know, the first time the students do this, there's, uh, you know, you spend time explaining why we're doing it, what we're doing. Uh, and how to do it and uh, decide which table gets the boards. So, you know, the students don't work on this for a full hour, um, usually about uh, uh, 30 minutes, uh, you know, passing out the beans, uh, getting the materials, getting the glue, uh, discussing what colors. So Monday, it didn't look like we got a lot done, uh, but there's a lot going on that we don't see on the board. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So by the first week, uh, uh, we see that uh, I try to get all of the, uh, uh, the black beans on first that covers the black paint, and then we try to cover up as much space as we can. Monday, 
of the following week. So this is week two. Tuesday got really close to finishing and then we finish it up on 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 Wednesday so like I said that took a week and a half this is just uh, I don't have all of the photographs of all the bean artwork uh, but we started this in uh, 2004 and 2005 uh, and, and it was such a big hit uh, I love the process I love the images that we continued this all the way up until um, the creation of the intermediate school where our fourth and fifth graders left and went to the intermediate uh, school. And um, uh, what I did was uh, the, the fourth grade project where we create pottery bowls, uh, we moved that down to third grade and that sort of uh, ended our um, uh, sand paintings uh, for the time being. But I'm very proud of all of my students from the past. Uh, I wanna say thank you for the memories. Uh, thank you for the great designs um, and, and hopefully the, the, this website, I uh, put this on the website and hopefully everybody will get to enjoy this for, for years to come. Thank you everyone. Hope you enjoyed it.